my name is Valerie Lyle, and we're looking at a number of quilts from different women in my family. Um, we'll look at some of the oldest ones first. I have two quilts that were woven on a loom by Callie Shown. Shown's Crossroads is the original name of Mountain City, Tennessee. And uh, I can trace back um, seven generations there. And uh, this, these two quilts uh, are called, um, they're done on a loom, and it's the overshot patterns. You'll notice that they both have a seam down the middle, and that is how wide the loom was. Um, so they simply uh, wove a longer piece and they cut it and then put the two halves together. And one of the older overshot patterns, uh, the coverlet, you'll see that they didn't even try to match the two sides together uh, because it was the fabric was so valuable that um, that they would go ahead and use what they had rather than trying to do extra. Um, these, the overshot is traditionally done with wool and flax, which my great-grandmother would have spun the wool, she would have had sheep, she would have sheared the sheep, dyed the wool, spun the wool, grew the flax, um, you know, broke it, and spun it, made thread of it too, and then took it to the loom. Uh, when I was little, I remembered one of the upstairs bedrooms had a, a giant, they call it a, a barn loom, just because of its enormous size. Uh, but my, my auntie said that that loom was actually borrowed from the Wilsons. Um, I don't know who the Wilsons were, where they lived, but that we borrowed the loom so that we could weave and make these coverlets. And uh, this top one, I love dearly. Uh, it's blue, dark indigo blue and, uh, and off-white, which is a very traditional overshot colors, just the two colors. And the one, uh, the, the other one where the pattern is not matched very well, um, it's uh, like a, a pale green and a pink and an ivory and, and, a, and a very dark blue. And it's, a, it's an unusual pattern. I'm not, I don't see that pattern as often. But these were out of Mountain City by Callie Shown. Do you know around what date these were made? Hmm. Uh, I would say 1880s. Um, there's a possibility that her mother may have made this one, mm -hmm. which would have put it more like 1860s. But I think she made this blue and cream one, which would have been about 1880. 